We're thrilled to have uh, Kit Meek, who is the chairman of UView. UView, um, formerly known as Project Canvas. Uh, he'll explain to us what it is shortly. Uh, just so as you know, um, Kip was once upon a time senior partner for content competition, no? content competition at Ofcom. Prior to that, he was a consultant and one of the founding partners of Spectrum Consultancy. Yeah. Uh, since when he's been, he ran a consultancy network for Ingenious, and he's now out and about doing all sorts of other things. But meanwhile, is chairman of uh, UView. As I say, was Canvas now UView, which has received regulatory approval all round now. That's correct, isn't it? Are there any more hurdles to go? Well, I mean, I think, you know, Ofcom has said that it has a watching brief on this issue, so we are taking nothing for granted. But we're in... Yeah, we're... We're, we're, not, anticip we're not anticipating sort of major no, no, storm. No, 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 we, we are okay. breathing a bit of a sigh of relief. Okay, but to get us started, just first, <coughs> a short video which will show us something about what you, you view is. Where do you want to start? Everyone loves great TV. This is great, isn't it? But it's still frustrating when you miss something. And it's never quite the same on a computer. I'll see you fix that. Imagine enjoying every moment all on your own TV. Everything is going to be different. We're a group of companies already famous for unmissable TV and great broadband. Together, we're going to change TV forever. Introducing UView. UView brings you all your favorite digital TV channels and adds the best catch-up TV services. Prove it. That means while normal TV guides only show you what's on now or later, the UView guide will also go back in time, so you can watch what was on yesterday or even last week. It's such a breakthrough. You'll also be able to watch in high definition. This is nice. And you can pause and rewind live TV. Plus, there'll be a huge choice of on-demand pay TV, including films, sports, and US drama. It's what the people want. But this is just the beginning. You'll get all kinds of content through UView from all sorts of providers. And once developers start creating apps, who knows what your TV could do? All you'll need is your TV and broadband, plus a UView box. Was that a dream, or did that just happen? The programs you love, ready and waiting, whenever you want them. UView. It will change the way you watch TV forever. That, that's quite a grand claim. Um, how will you view change the way that we watch TV, do you think? Well, I mean, I, I think the, the way I look at you view, perhaps a little bit less... Uh, um, Star Wars than yeah, that. Yeah, Star Wars than that, I think it'd be <laughs> fair to say. Um, <coughs> is that it's, it, it is conventional television, but it's enriched conventional television. And that makes it very distinct from... Uh, for example, uh, example Google TV. What's that then? Google TV is the internet on your television. This is television on your television, but with a bit extra. Um, so enhanced by the <coughs> internet. Enhanced by the internet. Enhanced by a no number of different things. So it mentioned in, in the clip there that um, <coughs> the catch-up service um, is, is an important feature of this, and so is, it, is um, that like Sky Anytime? Yeah, I mean it basically enables you to, <coughs> if you miss Downton Abbey, or indeed. Uh, tag it, you can, <coughs> you can um, uh, uh, come in uh, later that night and without difficulty uh, access the, the episode that you, you, you missed. Or indeed, if you've been away for the weekend, uh, you can do the same. So it's a seven-day catch-up service. You can go back through the schedule and say, that's what I wanted to watch. Let's watch it. So, very, very so, simple. So iPlayer-style functionality. On your television. On your television. Uh, okay. But with a, a broader range of, of, <coughs> of content. Uh, than is available on, on iPlayer because you've got uh, a number of players behind this. So, so that's the first thing. Right. Second thing um, is uh, a range of video on demand services. So um, <coughs> you will be able to access um, uh, both from the, from the players who are the shareholders, come on to them in a second, but for the moment let's just think of the BBC, Channel 4 and 5. Um, <coughs> you can get it from the shareholders, but also from others, so Love Film or, or whoever it might be, who, who might in due course uh, become affiliated to to uh, to you, which would mean that on the UView EPG, the, the front page, as it were, you'd be able to say, "I want films," yeah, or whatever, yeah, and you'd go to a UV, uh, um, a, a love film. a love film portal, exactly, and you'd say, "Okay, I want that one." Yeah, would that facilitate pay services? Yeah, you can, you can. They can be pay or free, depending on what. Uh, the provider of that content wants to do with it. Right, but your starting point would, would always be <coughs> the YouTube front page. 
You view. You sorry. <laughs> you something. Anyway, okay, fair enough. You bend. <laughs> you turn. Anyway, um, so the starting point would be the yeah. UView front page, yeah. and then you would go to uh, other, to other portals or other front pages offered by exactly right. exactly. W would you be able to get from the UView front page onto the open internet? No, you would not. Why? Because <coughs> don't you give I, me the I choice? Think, I think you've you've been down this road before, Steve. I gather. Well, I've asked. Um, the question. <laughs> it's, very, boring, it? it's a perfectly fair question, uh, but the, the 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 basic calculation that uh, UView has made is that this is not the internet on television, um, <coughs> and uh, that this is a uh, <coughs> a service which um, is basically accessible using a remote control with all the limitations that a remote control has. Um, <coughs> and that, but we want to make it user, you know, very user-friendly, very easy to use. Um, so although you can, you know, I mean, it, it, you know, if those of us with long memories think about walled gardens, what a terrible thing that is, and, you know, the language has changed a bit, but the, the basic notion is, is similar. But the idea here is that, <coughs> that uh, through the use of a simple consumer device that we're all familiar with, we'll be able to gain access to television plus some other stuff. And so it is not Google TV. Google TV, I'm absolutely certain, has a uh, place in the market, but it's not the place in the market which UView is operating in. And UView, I mean, I think the, the, its, its sort of core marketplace is the Freeview marketplace. Um, and it's th those people who have decided not to have a subscription um, and this is a non-subscription-based service. Although there will be pay services you in can, it. You can access pay services, right. but there is no monthly charge for it. Right. We, 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 we go back to this, the, the, the suggestion that it will change the way we view television forever. Yeah. I, even in homes, I mean, we, we, in Virgin Homes, for example, so in Virgin Homes, which already have a, a aspects of yeah, this. Yeah, they do. They, do well, yeah. they don't have it all, but they, they, yeah. they've, they've had four, you know, four on-demand ITV player and critically iPlayer, iPlayer yeah. for quite a long time, yeah. accessible on TV. Now, even in those households, on-demand viewing, viewing other than linear channels as broadcast, uh -huh. is a relatively small proportion of viewing. Yeah, that's and true. Even in their homes, it's, what is it, 12 15%. In yep. Overall, including, as I understand it, YouTube, stuff people take off the internet, all iPlayer, all Sky Plus and you know, PVR, da, 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 all of it is about 7% of viewing. Now, that doesn't sound transformative to me. Well, um, as I said, I mean, my, my approach might be slightly less Star Wars than, than, than the video. Um, but I, I do believe that progressively um, <coughs> uh, this will have a big impact, both on consumer behavior and also a number of other areas which we can come on to. But in terms of consumer behavior, um, I think the, uh, I've, talk, I've talked about, as it were, the catch-up TV service, which... Um, certainly in, in, in Freeview households, I think will change behavior. Um, <coughs> uh, <coughs> I've talked about video on demand, which we know has been very, very slow to develop. Um, and we'll, uh, you know, I don't expect a, a sudden uh, transformation in that, but I, I do believe progressively people will get used to um, uh, using more video on demand than they do at the moment. Uh, and then there will be a, you know, additional types of service which um, <coughs> which I'm not going to be very specific on because they are applications and they are ways of enriching television. Yeah. So it might be, um, obviously, we're extremely interested in the Olympics uh, and um, <coughs> making sure that uh, people can access all the different Olympic sports via UV, which are one of the things that, that uh, we would hope to, hope to happen here, plus obtain information about those Olympic sports uh, uh, <coughs> in a way that you know works works for the viewer. Now, is that transformative? I don't think it's transformative in two thousand and you know eleven or twelve or thirteen. But progressively, I think it may change the way in which people use the television. Um, how important strategically is it for the public service broadcasters or the free to air broadcasters? You said it was primarily aimed at free view customers. What, mm -hmm. What's the what's the strategic thinking behind mm -hmm. UView? Well, I think. Um, it, it's got two different types of benefit. One is um, it's very important for the DTT platform as a whole. So um, if you are ITV or Channel 5 or Channel 4, um, <coughs> you're viewing in, 
in uh, Freeview households is much higher than it is in Sky households, for example. Right, so it's highest in terrestrial only households. Yeah. Right, in, uh, in Freeview households, it's hi higher than it is in Sky households, but lower than it was before. Yeah, yeah. So the... the when you say terrestrial only, you, you sorry, mean analog, I'm analog only. Yeah. So, 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 uh, so the terrestrial broadcasters, the old fact, the, the legacy traditional broadcasters, yeah. the public service broadcasters, the old terrestrial broadcasters, do better in Freeview homes than in Sky homes. Exactly. So it's really important that the digital terrestrial platform has a future. Now, both Sky and um, Virgin uh, are developing connected TV products. Um, and so it's very important that this platform, um, from the point of view of the public service broadcasters, um, <coughs> has uh, a development path in the same way that those... those uh, but w but those why wouldn't the public service broadcasters just make themselves available via the Sky or Virgin platforms? Why have their own platform? Well, I mean, I think that's because, you know, the economic, the commercial rationale is pretty strong. Um, they, they believe that if they continue to make the DT, of course they will make themselves available to Sky and to, as they do now, um, <coughs> but uh, they believe they will get a higher share of viewing if they make the digital terrestrial platform, you know, a really successful, attractive platform so, so to huge swathes okay, of consumers. So, so you view uh, is seen as, as a kind of an upgrade path for Freeview? Absolutely. It, it, does it, so does it overcome, free, I mean, it, I don't know how widely known this is, but it is a fact as I understand it that Freeview is capacity limited. So the amount of high definition and so on that Freeview can show is, by comparison with Sky, which appears all virtually limitless, it is pretty is pretty restricted. Yeah. Uh, does this solve that problem? Well, I mean, it it um, it doesn't solve it in a, a sort of with one bound they were free um, type approach because that's not the, the way in which broadband operates. But uh, progressively, as um, as we begin to, to, in all our households, get faster and faster broadband, um, then the constraints on capacity um, <coughs> will diminish. So uh, free, free, uh, <coughs> Freeview is a combination of, of, um, uh, of uh, sorry, UView is a combination of broadband and DTT delivery. So as broadband becomes more and more uh, uh, ubiquitous at a high speed, then the capacity issues diminish. But you've used capacity to overcome some of, some of Freeview's competitive weaknesses, insofar as HD become, is Sky are busy plainly trying to make HD in standard. Yeah. Everywhere you look, and they've even used the technology now where if you go on to, if you've got the right box, if, you've got, if you're an HD, if you pay the HD subscription, if you go on to an SD channel, it will automatically flick you to the HD version. Sure. So yeah. they're, they're clearly one of their propositions for the future is HD is standard. Yeah. It is on Sky. So yeah. if that's what consumers come to expect yeah. or start to like, it, you know, Freeview is at a competitive disadvantage. But you, you view doesn't solve that problem until you get to big enough or fast enough internet connection. Yes. I mean, I, I think, you know, I think what I've already tried to communicate today is that in a sense that there are th the... The television market is going to get more uh, complicated, even than it is at the moment. Uh, and in that market, there will be different niches, um, different segments, and UView will find its segment. Um, and its course, but that doesn't mean that it's got um, a competitive sure. advantage with respect to Sky on all issues. Um, and uh, certainly, broadcast HD. Is, some, is an advantage that satellite will, will, has. Will, will Sky and Virgin customers find themselves in any way disadvantaged, or w will there be things that will there be things that they they like watching that they may appreciate seeing in being? You know, will, will they lose? I mean, as a Sky customer, yeah. will I have to go and get a UView box to get iPlayer catch up? Well, um, you you. I mean, I, I think the answer to that is that it's not. That's not UView's decision. Okay. BBC's decision. It is <coughs> the. It, it's the. It, there are various content suppliers who are shareholders of UView, who will be. And going back to Ofcom scrutiny, will will be very careful to ensure that they do commercial deals with uh, <coughs> with you know Sky and Virgin and others, um, and will not act in an anti-competitive so, way. So so so, 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 if, so if they were to, if they were to try and create a service in UView. Yep. that you had to have a UView box to get. 
In other words, that was not available any other way. If you view, if you view turned up in the marketplace as a competitor. Yeah, I, I think it's perfectly possible that there will be programs that you cannot get yes. uh, except by having a UView box. But that should, that, that should arise because Sky has not done the deal with the BBC, okay. not because BBC the BBC has, has withheld the program. Okay, right. Is, for this audience particularly, uh, help us out here. Um, what, has, what does UView offer in terms of nations, regions, and in particular local and even ultra-local services? Yeah. If anything, okay. how might that work? Well, um, first thing to say is uh, um, I was absolutely horrified. I'd recently taken on the, the, the um, uh, chairmanship of, of UView, and um, it was at that point that Virgin uh, submitted its complaint. Um, and, uh, and subsequently, a company called IP Vision did the same thing, both, both to Ofcom. And there was, uh, at the time, um, some um, uh, sort of echoing of concern from um, local newspaper groups, for example. And it seemed to me... And a local uh, TV consortium, didn't it Channel 6 complain? In, in Channel 6, uh, Kent Messenger Group were interested also, you know, so a, num a so, number so of players... Because they, they, they all said, we're going to be excluded from this, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, which seems to me a tragedy because, um, uh, and you know, I think we've done, we've gone some way to, I hope, um, uh, communicating the fact that this is in no in, in no way um, uh, diminishes uh, the opportunities open to local groups, and in lots of ways increases it. Uh, I don't think it is the answer to the. Um, uh, every problem associated with the economics of local television, <coughs> um, because they, I'm sure, will remain challenging. But the truth is that uh, what uh, UView will eventually offer uh, is the ability to uh, launch IP channels, so channels that are delivered, um, <coughs> that look like channels, but are delivered not by the digital terrestrial. Um, and, uh, over but, the internet. But over the internet, onto your television. Um, and the... Uh, the cost of, uh, as it were, distributing a channel of that type will be a fraction of, for example, distraction, uh, of, uh, of transmission via DTT. Roughly cost £10 million to, uh, annually to uh, have, a, have DTT transmission. The cost of an IP channel will be a fraction of that. Um, <coughs> we can't and what about the cost of being distributed, or at least available, should I say, through, uh, uh, through UView? That's it. That was something that, so. Oh, that's so, free. So, no, 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 oh. no, no. What I mean is that the the cost the cost of doing this is the cost lower. will is much much lower. So that is a big big help. That's help number one. The next question is, um, what type of prominence will local TV services get on UView? On UView. And and uh, the answer to that is we can't tell you definitively yet, but it is extremely important to us that I mean obviously. Um, because this is a, a BBC trust condition and it's something that Ofcom would look for, that it should be fair, reasonable and non-discriminatory. But actually we're going to go, you know, we, we're much more interested in going beyond that. We want to make it easy for people to, uh, to uh, receive local services uh, and see them on, on the EPG. Uh, <coughs> so, so, so that would, in theory, offer local uh, operators of local internet, or possibly broadcast and internet, or sure. combinations thereof, yeah. uh, services, to be made available via a front page, which also includes maybe BBC One, BBC Two, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, as I said, I mean, what we're striving to do, uh, and obviously there are lots of people who are striving to, you know, lots of other types of content supply who also want prominence, but, um, <coughs> you know, you view is, is um, you know, we understand the importance <coughs> of local and regional uh, uh, audiovisual services, and so this is something that will be important to us. Uh, in addition to that, there is a facility. There, will, there is a facility on on uh, on UView, which is a sort of basically a favourites facility. So you can, to to some degree, um, control uh, the way in which the EPG operates. Um, so that if you're particularly interested in in local regional services, they're there. Will you be able to recommend on UView? There, there, that is one of the things that is being that is being talked about at the moment. So, yeah. Okay. So, so because because on the broadcasting side, at least the UView partners are all the PSBs. Yes. Um, and because local local TV or local local and ultra local TV like services are a sort of current political priority, 
Yes. You view might reflect that by making it a priority of its own. Yes, I don't want you to think that we are in any way cynical, but we are obviously aware <laughs> that um, you know this is a political. It's politically important, and I think um, important for for the nation as a whole. So, um, okay. so yeah. So, so, so people in this room who have a, an interest in local and ultra local services, and there are many of them, um, could look can look towards UView as a as an ally rather than a absolutely. An enemy, I mean, and I, indeed, a, quite an opportunity. Perhaps. You know, I, I think we are. Um, I mean, the first thing to know about UView is it's a startup. Um, so this is not, although you know it's backed by some very substantial players, it doesn't have huge resources at its at its you know at its at its uh, uh, command. But absolutely, um, we want to work with people um, in this room and elsewhere who um, who are interested in providing local services. Um, at the moment, we are very very focused on delivery, trying to get the thing done and delivered and into um, uh, retail stores you know, as soon as we can. Um, <coughs> but we are also opening up the dialogue with content suppliers of a variety of types. But weekend press reports, finally, of more delay. Mm -hmm. Is that accurate? Um, we and are... So what's delaying it? The, the, um, the, you know, we are, we're still aspiring. Uh, I think that the, the term, the, um, the, we're now talking about summer of 2011. Um, but we're in the middle of a review, and what we will do is uh, we will make absolutely certain that um, the service uh, you know, functions well before we launch it. So you've so got a few technical hitches or issues. Still. I didn't say that. I said that we've got a few things to work through, which okay. we are, indeed we're doing. So. All right. Uh, briefly, if you can, any questions or contributions? Let's uh, chap in the middle here and do indicate, and one, one over there. But do you want to, I'll tell you what, why don't you pass that one up there? Hello? Hello? Mm. Never mind. Sorry, over there now. <coughs> oh, hello. Uh, my name's Oliver. I'm a series producer in Birmingham. Uh, how are you going to compete with the Apple TV, assuming that gets iPlayer and ITV Player and Sky Player and apps? Yeah, I mean, apps is part of the s part of the story on on uh, um, on UView too. Um, I mean, you know, I I have a possibly simple-minded uh, and um, uh, over optimistic view of the world, but my view of the world is that uh, the Apple TV at the moment is designed to enable you to, you know, to g to get a visual form of your iPlayer and your iPad, you know, on your television. Um, and Google TV is the internet on television, and therefore I think they have they operate slightly different. They operate in slightly different uh, parts of the market from where we're operating. And where we're operating is, as I said, it's basically television. Um, but a bit richer, and in particular, designed for the for those uh, freeview households. Okay. Just a, a quick question, you uh, Kip, uh, about what my wife calls spaghetti or wires. Um, will you need a separate box for every single television? Will each box need to be hardwired into the broadband, hence the spaghetti, or will it, will it will you be able to control all this wirelessly and route it around the house? I'm sure there'll be a wireless solution. Um, uh, and I think you need a separate box for each television. Mm -mm. How much are they? Good question. Ish. <laughs> as low as possible. We're, we, well, we're not going so to commit to that. What, so, but not tens, hundreds? What? A hundred? <laughs> oh, a clue, <laughs> roughly. <laughs> well, for a start, I mean, the most important thing to say is we're not in control of the price. So <coughs> there are... If you, need a new, if you need a new box for every tell and it's 400 quid, we, we, stuff we have innovation partners, right? So we have innovation partners who are produce, producing okay. the boxes. Yep. And then uh, we hope that um, BT and TalkTalk Talk we'll will subsidise the boxes very substantially. Um, in the middle there. Um, I have a question on behalf of producers who might be interested in making content for the app space. Yeah. For want of a better word, what's the commissioning process? If you have an idea, do we take it to you as the platform? Because it may be attached to a, pla uh, a channel, but it may not. Or is there room, for, you know, is there room for apps that aren't attached to channels? It's a bit of a grey area. Yeah, no, I, I think I, I mean that's a very good question. We don't have all the answers at the moment. But the way in which I see this uh, is that there are um, seven shareholders, um, <coughs> and you can approach them. Uh, you can approach us. You can also approach those people like Love Film, who we hope will be become affiliated and, and have a portal 
uh, and you can have um, you can you can supply apps via their portal. Um, but all of all of those routes are open to you. Um, it's worth going onto the website to have a look at this. Uh, we haven't got all the answers as yet, but so, and you know I think the apps will I hope begin to develop and we'll be, we'll get a sort of ecosystem around uh, app creation in due course. Um, but we're, we're, that's you know we're, that's not where we are just yet. We've you know we're we're still working about working on that and thinking on it. But it's absolutely something that we are thinking about. Uh, one last question, Chef in the middle. Hey, uh, Shima Simpson from the School of Media, Music and Performance, University of Salford. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me if there is a, a must offer uh, provision in your license, or is it is it more is it looser than that? Um, no. There is no, I mean, the, 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 it's easy to misinterpret what UView is. What UView is, it's not a licensed service, okay? It, it nor, it's not a content aggregator. It's none of those things. It is basically a route through to other people's services, uh, <coughs> uh, offering a standard customer interface. Um, so uh, that's what it is. So it doesn't need to be licensed. The, the, the licensing... Uh, the regulation applies to the content suppliers, not to us. Okay. Well, listen, that uh, I think was fantastically illuminating. I found it so anyway. So your appreciation, please, for Kit Me. <laughs> Do hang on a sec. Um, and um, that's very well done. You've got to the end of the day. That's it, uh, really. Uh, just a couple of, th a couple of thoughts. Um, I thought uh, Channel 4, well... On the upside, we know that we know exactly whose fault it is that um, um, Jim, what's his name, <laughs> Frankie Boyle, was allowed to make such outrageous comments or whatever. I know, but in all seriousness, no, Channel Four were here in numbers and here in strength, and I think that's significant. Uh, it was very good of David Abrams uh, to do the talk this morning. It's the first time he's been out. Uh, it's good for the conference that he was here, but I think it's good for nations and regions that he was here, and Jay Hunt was here, and their head of corporate affairs was here, and others. So I think it's good that Channel 4 have had a stronger presence here, I think, that, than I can remember hitherto. Uh, we were told by Richard Deverell that a channel for, Ma for Manchester, for Media City, uh, was not out of the question. Uh, and I know he's clear to say that wasn't his job, he couldn't decide that, but that he didn't think it was out of the question. And I think that, again, is pretty interesting. We heard that local TV uh, was almost certainly not commercially viable, but would be happening anyway. <laughs> Uh, that S four C that out of the out of the ashes uh, comes something quite remarkable, that a complete bollocks uh, turns into the possibility of the beginning of the federalisation of the BBC, which many people in this room, especially in the nations, might regard as uh, about time too. Uh, and we've heard about uh, the future of TV transforming the way you view TV uh, in really fundamental ways. So look, I think it's been a pretty good conference. I think it's worth thanking again. Um, the BBC, the University of Salford and Media City as our partners, all the sponsors whose logos you've seen, um, Katie uh, and the organisers uh, without whom, and the committee without whom it wouldn't happen. Uh, and finally, um, as far as cabs go, um, as the bloke from Nike once said, steal with pride. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>